COVID-19 cases are continuing to decrease. Technical Director of the Epidemiology Division, Dr. Avery Hines, said there continues to be a downward trend in the number of cases being reported on a daily basis. He said, based on data from the last three weeks, this is an encouraging sign. Rolling averages over the last possibly about three weeks or so, which is an encouraging sign that what we are currently doing, the measures that we are currently undertaking, are having the desired effect. It is also encouragement to hold the course with respect to these measures, even as we prepare to enhance the population's protection through the vaccination program. He's urging the population to continue to follow the COVID-19 protocols in place. Health measures really do continue to be of the greatest importance. So it does not mean that while we await the vaccine, the other measures no longer work or no longer valid. They continue to be valid and they continue to play their role in protecting the population and holding the pandemic at bay. At the end of this historical period, years, years down the road when we look back, we will see that the approaches that have been taken have been largely successful. Four new positive cases of COVID-19 were reported by the Ministry of Health on Wednesday. The number of positive cases reported reflects the samples taken during the period February 21st to 23rd and not the last 24 hours. The total number of active positive cases is 120. There has been no offer of free vaccines to Trinidad and Tobago from the Government of India. Minister of Foreign and CARICOM Affairs, Dr. Amory Brown, sought to further clarify this during the Ministry of Health's virtual media briefing today. He said the government has checked with the CARICOM Secretariat and they have received no such correspondence. Dr. Brown said government's engagement via the High Commission of India was about the purchase of vaccines. Based on the media reports and what has already transpired, there are discussions underway and we certainly do not preclude or would not preclude any additional provision of vaccine above and beyond that which we are seeking to purchase via the Serum Institute. This country has been proactive when it comes to the exploration and acquisition of COVID-19 vaccines. It's part of the public record that we have signed agreements six months ago for generous supply of vaccines to the people of this country. I think more recently, and we, we need to be quite clear, that the epidemic situation in Trinidad and Tobago is very different to that that exists in Barbados, in Jamaica, and a number of other countries around us. That is the reality.